Okay, this video is about the bootloader menu. That menu when you have uh, multiple operating systems on the computer which allows the user to choose which operating system to start. For example, let's go to this computer properties and advanced system settings and a startup and recovery click the settings button and from here default operating system you can choose which windows operating system to start i have four four of them installed okay but you can't rename any of these from this menu nor choose uh, I, I mean delete one okay and you can do this stuff by going to run and typing msconfig and then go to boot and this system configuration utility is not even seeing windows xp it was four operating systems here and only three over here by running msconfig and notice the delete button is not even available and even set as default disappeared so let's go and download another program let's go to the internet type easy bcd and let's go here to softpedia easy bcd 2.2 click the download button softpedia mirror us okay and the program is being downloaded let's save it save as put it on the desktop save might have been moved or deleted retry okay now it's been downloaded and let's close it here is the program easy bcd double click on it to install it next i agree next install and finish and the program is automatically starting because it was checked and this is the program let's go to the second button edit boot menu and we can see that all those four operating systems are available here and for example we can move windows xp or any of them move them down now windows xp is the second now it's the third operating system or if it's down we can move it up for example let's move this one up okay we can rename using this button let's see whatever let's rename that one whatever okay and we can also delete any of these operating systems for example let's delete windows xp select that one and click the delete button are you sure you want to delete this entry yes okay and we can select another operating system as default let's select windows 8 and just check here it says default and now this one is default you don't have to press the save settings button because save settings as you can see it's related only to this area which is the timeout the seconds you have to wait until automatically in this case windows 8 will boot and we can increase or decrease this number and then click save settings settings were saved okay and let's delete that one also just for fun yes let's delete the vhd file also vhd it's a virtual hard drive let's add them back add new entry and <coughs> at 
windows type go to windows xp xp is here let's cut down this name to be like this one okay windows xp and it says automatically detect correct drive let's add the entry has been added successfully okay and if i uncheck this one it gives me gives me these drives and let's see file explorer and it's not a c drive because that's a virtual hard drive it's here on the d drive because documents and settings folder is here so windows xp it's on the d drive okay whatever windows xp was added let's move it up oh come on in this case just close the program and start it once more okay xp move it up and let's set that one to default add new entry this time let's add the virtual hard drive a disk image microsoft vhd click this yellow button path let's choose where that vhd file is stored vhd in this folder windows 8 okay open let's add the name windows 8 and let's call it vhd also because it's running from a vhd file add entry let's check it edit boot menu windows 8 is there let's move 8.1 down because that's a newer one okay and add new entry let's add browse to another file it's windows 7 also vhd file open let's change the name let's call it 7 add entry and at edit boot menu let's check it let's move it up because it's an older one okay and let's make 8.1 default and close the program okay and we can go to run ms config and we can see everything is back without windows xp this is not seeing windows xp and let's check here properties advanced system settings and a startup and recovery settings button and all four of them are back okay that's it how to manage your bootloader menu using easybsd here here on the first page at view settings you have more detailed for uh, informations for example Windows XP it's being loaded from the D drive which is correct okay that's it thank you bye bye